So today I'm going to show you how to um, airplay any other device via a PC. Um, it's really simple to do, no coding involved, just one program you download, you can run it in the background, so if you want to use your other device to airplay, simply just do it, so it's pretty good. So you have to go to this website here, um, I saw something, I'll put it in the uh, description below, click on there, it's really easy to do. Once you're on it, click this uh, green button here, simply click it once, give it a few seconds, let it load. Let's see, it's starting two seconds, one second, and then it'll start downloading. I've already got it, but once you downloaded it, actually, just click on it once and it'll open up like this or a similar program. Just run the program. Uh, yeah, I've already got it on here, so that's why I've got that message. I'm already running it. Um, so it's here. So simply don't have to change anything. When you start it up, you'll get a program like this one here. Um, just leave, don't really change anything, leave it there. But you can set it to start minimize, you can change the name of it, so when it shows up on your device it will come up whatever name you set. So for example if I change this, click on here, uh, I can change it to my name, Josh, click set, and you can have it to whatever you want. Uh, so don't, yeah, you can close it, and it will carry on, actually you can't close it, sorry. You can see, don't close it, keep it running in the background. Uh, so allow access when this comes up. Let's minimize it, and that will run in the background. It won't bother you with the taskbar here at all. It'll stay here, so don't worry about that. Um, so once you've downloaded that, um, open up your iPad. Okay, so once you set up your computer, it's very simple to do on iPad, iPhone, or any um, other device. Just make sure that you have it connected to the same network as your computer. Simply go into the iPod part of your iDevice, uh, click on your one, and as you can hear, it's coming out of the iPad. Simply tap the screen once, and you see up here it has a little um, thing with a square with a triangle in it. So if you tap that once, you can't really see on my camera, but here it says iPad, and there it says uh, SharePort 4W. So if you tap SharePort 4W, give it a second, let it load, and now it's coming out of my PC speakers. Um, if you want to go back to iPad, just tap it again, and choose iPad. And then they play at the same time for a few seconds, then they go back to the iPad. So yeah, that's very simple to do. Um, I will now show you how to do it on the iPhone, it's pretty much the same principle. So if you have an iPhone or iPod, so you do, so unlock it, go into your iPod bit, um, find a song. As you can see here, next to the uh, next button, it has the same icon which is on your iPad. So if you tap it, see iPhone or SharePort for W, tap SharePort for W, make sure it's playing, and on the same network. Just wait a second. And there you go, it's coming out there. Same principle, press it, press iPhone. Wait a sec, that's back on the iPhone. Uh, so it's very easy to do. If you have any issues, guys, uh, let me know, and I'll be able to get back to you on how to fix it. Um, so don't forget to check out the next iOS.co.nr. Got loads of cool stuff going on there at the minute, so I want to have a look. Um, so thanks for watching.